Hello everyone and welcome back to UNH's Equine Educational Week. My name is Rosie and in this video we will be going over barn safety tips and how to keep your barn safe for both your horses, staff, and clients. Before we start looking at some examples of what an unsafe barn might look like, let's go over a few safety tips. Tip number one, make sure you have fire extinguishers at every exit. They should be updated and marked regularly and all of the barn staff should know how to use one. Tip number two, your main barn doors should open the full width of the aisle so you can fit a truck or tractor in. Number three, all electrical wiring in your barn should be encased in a non-corrosive conduit such as PVC or a flexible metal conduit. Number, number four, all light fixtures should be encased in cages to keep the light bulbs from getting hit and breaking. Number five, all of your stall doors should be in good working condition. Number six, all aisles should be clear of any hazards, including rakes, shovels, tack boxes, hay bales, or electrical cords. Now that we have gone over these few tips, let's look at some barn examples and analyze each trying to find what might be hazardous in these environments. Take a second to look at this picture and find what you think might be hazardous for this horse. Now that we've taken the time to analyze the picture, let's discuss. This aisle looks very clean and looks very well taken care of. They have a non-slip flooring in the aisleway, all the sliding doors look like they function properly, and the light fixtures are encased fixtures, which means they are less prone to breaking. What I also want to point out is all the way on the right, the electrical encasing here is perfect. The switch and or electrical plugs are covered with a plastic lid, and the wires are also encased in a non-corrosive conduit. The only thing I would change in this scenario are all of the boxes on the sides of the aisle. Although it may not seem very hazardous, it can be. Your aisleway should be able to fit at least two horses side by side, and with all the boxes in the aisle, they are losing a lot of space, and it can cause issues if someone is bringing their horse in when one is on the cross ties. Other than that, this barn looks pretty safe. In this example, the aisle is much larger, so you can afford to use up some of that space along the stalls for boxes. Let's look at another example. This is an example of a wash stall. Now let's take a second to analyze the picture and find what is hazardous here. There are a few items in this picture that I think should be removed in order to make the environment safer. To start, I would pick up the halter and lead ropes that were left on the floor as well as the green and white lead ropes next to it. You don't want a worker or horse tripping over them and getting hurt. Then I would remove the tack box that's further back that was also left behind and although it may not seem hazardous, you wouldn't want anyone accidentally tripping over it as well. And finally, I would get rid of the bottle that's all the way in the back that looks like bleach. It's sitting on the ground next to the hose. Um, dangerous chemicals like that should not be left around unsupervised, especially if you have children around. Let's look at the next one. This is another example of an aisleway. Now take a moment to spot what might be dangerous in this scenario. The main thing you might notice are the fans attached to the horse's stall. Although they may seem safe at first, your horse could get their tail stuck in it accidentally or they could very easily knock it down if they wanted to. If you think you were to have fans in your stalls, they should be installed by a professional and put them where the horse is not so close to the fan. Another thing you may or may not have noticed is that this barn does not have sliding doors on their stalls. They use a gate instead. The main disadvantage of having these gates, I would say, is they take up some space when you open them, unlike sliding doors, and horses are more prone to being hit by them if the gate is left open. Let's look at the final picture now. Take a few seconds and look at this picture and decide what you think is hazardous. In my opinion, 
This is the best environment out of all four barns. There is nothing hazardous in this environment, and the only potential hazard I see is the hay bale in the middle of the aisle. It takes up half the aisle way, and it is still a fire hazard, unfortunately. I hope you all enjoyed this video and learned something new. Always remember that if you have any concerns regarding safety, don't hesitate to ask your barn manager or trainer for help. Thank you for watching.